My name's Eddie Elwood. I'm better known for my bodybuilding and strength career. Um, I won five times Mr. Universe, 1997 to 2001, beating Arnold Schwarzenegger's record for the most wins consecutive uh, of the NABBA professional Mr. Universe. I also won England's Strongest Man three years consecutive, 2003 to 2005. I've competed in World's Strongest Man, but that does not, does not define who I am today. At this present moment in time, I am fighting against uh, disproportionate lockdown measures. And people will say, what's di disproportionate? People will have a go and say it, but they don't understand my story. My story is that I lost a guy to suicide in the first lockdown in my gym. Um, I had another guy sectioned and several others were in a dark place. And after lockdown one and after studying the facts, especially those under 40 that were not dying. I have facts to prove that um, there was three times more suicides to coronavirus deaths under 40. And that is disproportionate. So I said I would never let it happen again and I didn't. So for lockdown one, uh, two and three, I, I went against the system and kept my gym open for peaceful protest to allow people to come. Yes, use the equipment. Um, to peacefully protest it was their right and we were, t we were eventually pulled down not for peaceful protesting not for human rights not for coronavirus but for an anti-social behavior order which we had to defend a court recently and it didn't go our way because the judge was ignorant to what we were saying wouldn't allow us to read our full statement and shut me down halfway through and I don't like to come out of court people thinking that we, we were defeated when really this statement, I think I had it all ready to go and I think it had said everything it needed to say. So I'd like to read it out for people who wouldn't have known what was getting read in court because I was stopped by a judge very ignorantly. She let the council read their statement and mention BLM but she shut me down the minute I mentioned BLM as not relevant. So to show you the um, discrimination against us in court, I would like to read the statement I had prepared. And it went like this. <clears throat> I own Extreme Fitness Center, Hartlepool. During lockdowns two and three, I was the organizer of what were peaceful, ongoing protests at Extreme Fitness. My brother Carl used his premises known as Elwood's Jim Horden for the same peaceful protests. My passion in life is my drive and determination to do what's right and I felt as though I was doing what's right in keeping the gyms open for mental health for to protest. And it was a protest. So I asked the judge, all we're asking for is a fair and just hearing. Please listen to what we, our argument is. We have, with reasonable explanation, shown the police and local authorities on numerous occasions that the business known as Elwood's Gym for Windsor Corner Horden was to remain closed during every lockdown. As they witnessed when they first called to find it closed during what was normal business hours. Before you go any further, officers, are you on your oath? Sorry? Are you standing on your oath? We just here to assist this are you gentleman. On your oath? We just here to assist this Masking gentleman. Are you so standing on your oath? Because it's under your oath, you're here to protect We're civilians' fundamental free to rights. We're here to prevent a breach of the peace. We're That's not breaching the only, peace. Where's there any breach of the peace That's here? That's the only reason why we're here. Where's there any breach of the Did peace I see here? That? You just said you said, said breach of the peace. We are here to prevent any. Is breach there of any peace. breach of the peace here? What? None whatsoever. So we are here. Right. What have you come for? So. You know who I am. This is Jan from the uh, is, is, Environmental is Health Office. Is open? Uh, not at this moment in time, which is which is grand. Uh, However, we have used the premises for our fundamental right to protest under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. To protest under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we have followed the guidance given by the United Nations. The UK are one of the 173 member states and one of its largest contributors. 
As a democracy, the UK's 343 local authorities and 43 police forces throughout the country should also support the United Nations. The United Nations explanation on how to peacefully protest was given in the United Nations news on the 26th of July 2020. It stated that during a time of racial injustice, the UN recognised that BLM movement was peaceful protesters against discrimination. The UN News explanation on how to peacefully protest quotes, people have the right to demonstrate peacefully and governments should respect international law and let them do so. A senior UN appointment appointed independent rights expert said. The panel's general comment notes that protesters have the right to wear masks or hoods to cover their face and the government should not collect personal data to harass or intimidate participants. The development comes at a time of worldwide protests in support of Black Lives Matter. The movement clarifies that how peaceful assembly should be understood by the 173 countries which have ratified the covenant. Committee member Christoph Heinz, who is a world leading expert in human rights, said that it was a fundamental human right for people to gather, to celebrate or to air grievances in public and in private spaces, outdoors, indoors and online. Everyone, including children, foreign nationals, women, migrant workers, asylum seekers and refugees can exercise the right of peaceful assembly, he added. Generalised references are not enough. The committee's advice notes that governments could not prohibit protests by making generalised references to public order or public safety, or an unspecified risk of public of potential violence. The coronavirus pandemic should not be used as an excuse to clamp down on fundamental freedoms, the UN Human Rights Office, the OHCHR, reminded authorities. Everyone recognised that BLM movement protested against discrimination, the importance of which is shown in their recent nomination for a Nobel Peace Prize. Discriminating against us for using the same equal rights to peacefully protest and, their discrimination, and in their discrimination they are breaching the Universal Declaration of Human Rights Act as well as the Equality Act. The police and Durham County Council were aware of what we were doing. They have been shown and given evidence of our protests, yet they still persisted in targeting us and our many protesters. Police officers are regarded as citizens in uniform. They are supposed to exercise their powers to police their fellow citizens. With implicit consent of those fellow citizens, policing by consent indicates that the legitimacy of policing in the eyes of the public is based upon a general consensus of support that follows from transparency about their powers, their integrity in exercising those powers and their accountability for doing so. There was never ever any public consent. Under their oaths within the College of Policing and acting in the office of a constable, in giving public guarantee of impartiality, accountability and most importantly, having a political independence. Being apolitical, free from political preference and political targets, ensuring the separation of power and political independence. They never gave public guarantee of impartiality shown in their political alliance. They swore an oath to carry out their duty with fairness, integrity, diligence and impartiality, upholding fundamental human rights accord an equal aspect to all people. There was no equal protection, nor did they uphold our fundamental human rights. As I understand, as I understand it, they must gain a foundation of knowledge and experience in the execution of duty according to the rule of law. Yet with the foundation of knowledge they acquired, and without anyone's consent, they chose to continuously harass <coughs> tactically bully and intimidate us and those attending or leaving our peaceful protests. 
During times of normal trading, my parents' business premises or business was never reported for committing any antisocial behavior. And in comparison, there is nothing antisocial <coughs> anti about having hundreds of people gathered in a supermarket. So what is antisocial about a group of like-minded individuals, all of whom are in good health and of sound mind? Individually making adult choice to, to use their right to protest within my father's building. This is something we would class as essential in the protection of human rights and in the moral protection of human life. Articles 18, 19, 20 of the UDHR. Article 18, everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience and religion. This right includes freedom to change his religion or belief and freedom either alone or in community with others and in public or private to manifest his religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship and observance. Article 19, everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This, this right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. Article 20, everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. No one may be compelled to belong to an association. The United Nations recognises that everyone without discrimination have the right to protest. Article 30 confirms that all the articles within the Declaration are unalienable and protected. Article 30. Nothing in this Declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state, group or person any right to engage in the activity or to perform any act aimed at the destruction of any of the rights and freedoms set forth herein. There are no restrictions on these rights. The most recent evidence to allow peaceful protesting can be seen in the Health and Protection Act, Coronavirus Regulations, All Tears England, Regulations 2020, Exemption 14, which was an exception for a gathering to protest brought in on the 2nd of December 2020 and expires on the 31st of March 2021. Protests can happen. We cont contest the antisocial behaviour order. There was no antisocial behaviour by any of our peaceful protesters. There is nothing antisocial about peaceful. The only antisocial behaviour seen at Elwood's gym was from the local authorities and police turning up in force to breach the peace of what was very peaceful protests. They bullied, harassed and intimidated those trying to enter or on leaving. They caused unrest and distress with threats of fines and arrest. I repeat, the business along with every other fitness facility in County Durham was closed. So in the attempt of Durham County Council and the police to criminalise us by serving what we believe to be an invalid excuse of a closure notice on the grounds that the business was closed, they knew the business was closed, they still chose to break universal law by discriminating against us, what they knew was a peaceful protest, this is a human rights issue which the closure notice is in contravention of. The closure notice advice reads, to make a closure order, the court must be satisfied that A, a person has engaged in antisocial behaviour on the premises in respect of, what, of which the closure notice was issued, and B, the use of the premises is associated with significant and persistent disorder or persistent serious nuisance to members of the public, and C, an order is necessary to prevent further such disorder or nuisance for the period specified in the order. <coughs> and the very last sentence of the closure notice information is, nothing in this policy allows for breach of human rights. I believe the antisocial order for closure given by Durham County Council's Jan Bostock is supported by disproportionate poor police judgment and biased, unsupported claims. In support, in, in support, in the support of a claim of an antisocial behaviour 
by Durham County Council and police formed only around their own statements because the people who it should concern are the general public in the locality, which we have contradictory evidence in our support. Local businesses and public stating that the police were the breach of the peace and we and we and a local parish councillor confirmed they had no reports of anti-social behaviour. We also have the support of many emails from protesters and attendees who would attend in court if requested. What does fundamental right to peaceful protest mean? Fundamental meaning a central or primary rule, a principle on which something is based, forming a necessary base or core of central importance, the protection of human rights. Rights meaning that which is morally correct, just or honourable, peaceful, not involving war or violence. There were no violent incidences reported at the peaceful protest. Protest. A statement or action expressing disapproval or objection of to something. Freedom, the power or right to act, speak or think as one wants. Human rights and peaceful protest should be recognised as essential. Is bureaucracy now aiming to remove the very foundation of democracy? Our natural unalienable human rights which form the very basis of all law. Your Worship, the question I would like to ask you is, as a servant of the Queen, does your Worship recognise that we all have the right to peaceful assembly and association to protest peacefully under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights Act, the UDHR? I didn't get the chance to read all that out. I got stuck at halfway through as soon as I started mentioning about uh, how a policeman should conduct himself. She stopped me dead in my tracks. If I'd known more, I would have carried on, but I didn't know that I could not carry on. Um, she scoffed at uh, facts I've placed about seeing on the uh, NHS site that under 40, um, it was disproportional the amount of suicides to actual uh, COVID cases, and she laughed, she sniggered. It was ignorance. And at that point, I just got up and walked out of court because we were on a, on a losing case anyway. She, she hadn't listened to anything we had to say. Uh, and that has put much doubt in my mind of our criminal justice system and our human rights.